Talk to you about the hematoma you had in your eye, man, because I don't. I, I, it sounds like a silly question, but how much did that hurt every time you got hit on it? You know, um, I just had to block it out of my mind, man. It was, um, it was, it was painful to a degree, but it, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't it too bad to where it would make me quit or even make me ponder in quitting. I was able to push through it. I was able to box smart, and I tried to minimize the blows that were being um, done uh, to that section of my head in general. But um, after the fight. I had to go to the hospital, get a CAT scan. Everything was cleared. It was nothing but, you know, the hematoma, like you said. The blood was at the top of my forehead. And then throughout the next 24 hours, it shifted into my left eye, which had my left eye shut for two days. I think there's a, a, a picture on Instagram that uh, uh, one of my updates a, a day or two after the fight. And then from there, the, sw the, um, the blood went over into the right eye. And now we have what's called raccoon eyes. That's what the doctor called it. Um, I, I, I had a, do a checkup with a doctor this week. He said everything that I'm going through is natural, and uh, this is what your boy one time looks like today. We a warrior, baby. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> this is how we get paid. If you want a box, prepare for this. Is it, is it a point for you to be excited in there? Because a lot of guys want to you know, be famous and be popular, but you're one of the few that actually puts out a performance. You actually saved that card. The first fight, a lot of people weren't too excited about it. You went in there, Robert Guerrero. As soon as you came out, you came out firing. Was it important to you to look exciting, especially on NBC? You know, it's always important for me to be exciting. What's most important for me to do is get a win. But I had the strategy to do what we did that fight. And it just so happened that my strategy for me to be in his face, to show him that I wasn't going to run all night, that I was going to try to be right there to trade whenever he wanted to trade, you know, that was a fight that the fans wanted to see. It was it was a fan-friendly fight. It was a great fight all in all. And you're going to get more fights like that from me in the future. Last question. What do you think of the fights tonight? Uh, Andre Berto in there. Stop Josecito Lopez. What was your assessment on that fight? You know, Berto started off slow, but he started to get into his groove. I knew Berto's hand speed was going to be too much for Jose Cito. And then at the end of the day, it wasn't just his hand speed, it was his power too. Berto got him out of there, man. Congratulations to my boy Berto.